my name is Josh Zander. I'm the teaching professional here at Stanford University Golf Course and host teaching professional for My Smart Golf. Today I want to talk about how to hit the ball out of the rough. The first thing you want to do when you get into the rough is assess the lie. We have three kinds of lies in the rough. The first one is what I call a US Open lie. This ball is deep, four or five inches down, you got some heavy grass. At this point, you just want to take your wedge and chop it back out to the fairway. The second is your more conventional lie out of the rough where the ball's sitting down a little bit, an inch or two, and you can't get clean contact on the ball. And the third is what we refer to as the flyer lie. You can see it here, it's sitting nice on top of the grass, almost like it's teed up. It looks really good, but there's some things you have to be careful about with that lie. Once you've assessed your lie, it's important to understand how to execute the shot. As far as the U.S. Open lie is concerned, all you want to do is take a lofted wedge like your sand wedge or lob wedge and hack yourself back into the fairway. I think of that as a one-shot penalty. The second lie is a more conventional lie where the ball is down an inch or two in the rough, you just missed the fairway by a few yards, and you're not going to be able to make clean contact with the golf ball. There are three keys to hitting this golf shot correctly. Number one, you want to use more loft. It's not quite a wedge like a US Open lie, but you got to understand that the more loft you have, the more the ball is going to shoot up and out of the grass quicker and up into the air. If you try to use a less lofted club here, you're liable to drive the ball into the grass and the ball's not going to go very far. So be a little bit more conservative with your club selection and add a little bit more loft. The second way is to swing more up and down, more like a Ferris wheel, more what we call vertical or upright swing plane. And you're going to do this in two ways. One is you're going to get your hands up higher at the top of the backswing. And the other is you're going to use more wrist cock. So we're looking to set the wrist early and swing the arms up high. The third way to get the ball out of this lie is to use the bounce of the club. Now you often hear the term bounce when you're hearing about bunker shots. Now just to refresh, the back edge of the club is the bounce. The front edge is called the leading edge. The bounce allows the club to slide while the leading edge makes the club dig. So if we can open the club face a little bit, we're exposing more of that bounce and the club is able to slide through the grass easier. So now I'm going to go ahead and execute this shot. I'm using a more lofted club, in this case a six iron. I'm going to swing more up and down with a lot of wrist hinge, and I'm going to cheat that club face a little open so I can expose the bounce and have that club slide through the grass. That ball got up in the air very quickly, and I'm back playing golf. The last piece of advice I would say on this shot is you can choose the hybrid club. Because a hybrid club has a wide bottom, it acts like a bounce, and it'll slide through the grass a lot easier. Using a lofted hybrid club is even better. Now let's talk about the flyer lie. Boy, does that lie look nice. It almost looks like somebody put it on a nice big tee for me. But you have to be careful with this lie. The ball will tend to fly out farther, so adjust your club selection. And once the ball hits the ground, it's not going to spin as much. It's going to roll out, so you have to adjust for that as well. One last warning about this lie, it's very easy to go underneath the ball, so I'd recommend hovering the club at the height of the ball so you can sweep it right off the top of the grass. Okay. Let me leave you with three general tips out of the rough. Number one, don't try to shape your shots out of the rough. The ball will not tender hook or slice. The ball comes out knuckling and tends to hold its line. So aim where you want your ball to go. Number two, Never ever try to hook it out of the rough. When you hook the golf ball, you close the club face down. And when you close the club face down, you're taking loft off. And remember, we need loft to get the ball up and out of the grass. Also, when you try to hook the golf ball, the leading edge will dig into the ground. We don't want this club getting stuck in the grass. We want it sliding through the grass. And lastly, never try to get greedy out of the rough. Don't go for that tight pin. Don't go for that pin that's tucked just behind the front bunker. Play a little bit more conservatively and try to score with your short game. For the best shot tracking and game analysis resource on the web, 
go to www.mysmartgolf.com.